hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is the health gospel where we discuss our health and um, the things that affect us as pe as a people the things that affect our health i am dr id charles and today i will be talking about heart attack heart attack is a common term everybody says oh he's having a heart attack and we found thick pictures where we see um, men clenching their chest um, and then they said he had a heart attack or you hear that somebody um, had a bad news and then hell on his chest and people say oh he had a heart attack this is one of the major um, major causes of cardiac arrest i talked about in my previous videos if you haven't seen it you can check on the health gospel channel you will see the video on cardiac arrest uh, myocardial infarction which is heart attack so i'll leave it as heart attack because our channel is not for professional it's for everybody to learn and also to help themselves to save their lives and that of their loved ones um, heart attack basically i will read i will explain it in the simplest form so we can understand when you have uh, you have your heart and your heart is supplied by blood blood and th that blood is carried to your heart heart by blood vessels so blood vessels are like tiny tubes like if you're like you know water pipe or straw so like straw that carry water or you know around the house but the heart has blood vessels that are like tiny tubes that take blood and supply to nourish the heart itself so while the heart is pumping blood to the rest of the body it also has to be nourished and also has its own blood supply it also has its own needs so this blood supply to the heart um, supplies blood to keep that heart going while it's doing its own function of of pumping blood around the body there are certain conditions like um, arteriosclerosis which is your there's a fatty lining of these blood vessels so if you imagine a pipe and the inside of the pipe is being lined lined with some clogs of things that kept that keeps the the pipe make making it narrow so there's a clogging so the, the 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 lumen the pipe the inside of the pipe is no more um potent enough to take blood to the the heart and the blood vessels supply different parts of the heart we have the ones that supply the inferior part which is the lower part the anterior part which is the the, the front part the posterior part we have different blood vessels that supply each area of the heart if you have uh, conditions that predisposes you to having this sort of clogging in the heart or one of the blood vessels is weak or is narrowed so things like diabetes things like hypertension things like smoking things like alcohol people who are obese obesity a poor, a poor lifestyle people who who just you know uh, are, 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 are predisposed they have congenital problem family history of heart attack you are prone to having these sort of problems with your heart you are at risk of having a heart attack so a heart attack is when there is a, a, a thrombus so a thrombus i'll call it like a clot that it breaks off the wall of this um, blood vessel which is the pipe that supplies the heart a part of the heart and it breaks off when it breaks off the body recognizes it as something foreign and then begins to produce certain things like platelets to try and and you know clot off to try and remove this uh, foreign body so when it clots it what it does it just makes it bigger and bigger because there's so many things coming onto this thing that they don't recognize inside the lumen so it clogs it over make is making it bigger and bigger and then it forms a thrombus and it occludes it completely blocks the pipe so if you imagine like a cotton wool or you imagine like a small ball that you drop in a straw and it blocks the tube so when you pour water nothing passes through to the other side 
that is what happens to your blood vessels that supply your heart when that thrombus completely blocks off that blood vessel the blood that is supposed to supply that heart cannot pass through because that blood vessel that pipe that supplies blood to that heart is blocked at a certain point so the blood supply to that area of your heart is cut off is cut off so the heart begins to die the muscles of the heart there's no blood supply there's no oxygen remember in our other videos i've talked about that blood uh, supply the blood that goes to the brain supplies oxygen or to the rest of the body it carries oxygen so if there's no blood supply to that part of the heart there is no oxygen the muscles begin to die off and this happens suddenly so when it cuts off you the symptoms you have is somebody's complaining of central chest pain sudden onset of central chest pain some people the pain goes into their arm left or right is or that goes into the neck goes into the jaw they feel this pain they feel that they are sweating they are clammy they feel something is not right there is a pain or some people describe it as something sitting on their chest like a heavy load like something heavy sitting on their chest in some people they describe it as heart burns a lot of people are taking a gaviscom or taking all these magnesium things all these uh, white things that you guys take because they think they're having heart burns but it could just be heart attack that is why in all my videos i've always said you need to check out your symptoms and stop self-medicating because because you don't know what you are dealing with a lot of people have heartburns and it can go on for days because the body is trying to tell you every symptoms we have is our body giving us sign trying to tell us something is not right and you need to check this out so if you leave it for long and if the blood vessel the one that supplies that part of the the heart is a big a major blood vessel and it close up and you have a heart attack without anything being done you can go into cardiac arrest and you can die you can die if you're diabetic if you're hypertensive if you are alcoholic to deal with your alcohol to start thinking about alcohol cessation if you are smoking smoking just destroys the blood vessels you need to start thinking about smoking cessation you need to routinely check your cholesterol level you need to routinely go and have it checked if you have high cholesterol prayer will not bring it down it is your lifestyle and medication that will help bring it down prayer and casting and binding will not bring it down you need to be realistic you need to understand that your body needs intervention and needs it now if you pray from today to tomorrow it will not bring down your cholesterol when you are not doing the right things when you are eating every and all things that is passing you by when you're still pouring all this oil and stuff and eating all these junk things and thinking that you're enjoying life they will not bring down your cholesterol level. You need to start acting, actively acting on your food, your 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 lifestyle, and the and the things that you you need to do to keep healthy. Because when you have a heart attack in a place like in your village or in your town and nobody recognizes it, you're gonna die. That's why so many people are just dying. So many people are just dying why because we are not looking at our health we are not looking inward we're not checking stuff we leave everything to god god will come and help me god will have to help me god and we cry and we do all this emotional blackmail to god 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 is not interested in our emotional blackmail he's interested in sons people who take responsibility those are the people god deal with not people that will be blackmailing god you have to come and help me if you're if you're if your doctor have told you your cholesterol is high, you need to act on it. You need to act on that information. You need to work on it. Because when you have a heart attack, when that part of your, your heart is, is, is dying from lack of blood supply, lack of oxygen, you can't get it back. 
you begin to have problems. You go into heart failure. Some people go into a problem that they will never recover from irregular heart rhythms. So it's important to prevent these things. It's important to know more about these things. So if you want to know more about heart attack, how to prevent it, how to, uh, how to recognize the things that you need to do, the risk factors, drop us a message on our channel and I will deal with your questions as I get to them. If you have any questions about heart attack, if you have any questions about uh, your lifestyle, how can I help myself? This is where I am. This is what I want to do or this is what they've told me can you throw more light to this? Please drop me a message and I will deal with your questions. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, this is the Health Gospel channel. Please subscribe, like and invite your friends to subscribe and like our channel. I am Dr. I.D. Charles and here is the Health Gospel. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Bye for now.